guys and welcome to another video tutorial here on Shade Designs uh, and of course today's tutorial is going to be on how to play around with an image um, to try to capture um, you know just to get our focus our main focus is to capture that red image of the Ferrari and the rest of the background the surrounding frame is to be in clear black and white and I could see a Lamborghini right there and um, I saw this the other day, you know, when I was going to work, and um, yeah, I just wanted to show and share with these guys, okay? So, before we go into the tutorial, I just wanted to quickly show you um, the social sites that I'm on. Um, I'm on Facebook uh, at the moment, which is facebook.com forward slash shared design, so you can follow me here. I'll be, you know, regularly posting all my work, um, or, you know, like useful links, uh, for, for articles, things like that. I mean, if I person in here, just make sure to follow that, which is facebook.com forward slash shade designs. I also have a Twitter Facebook pa uh, Twitter, <laughs> a Twitter f page where you can follow me, which is twitter.com forward slash shade designs. I'm going to be posting, um, you know, tweets and things like that for regularly. Okay, so enough said. Let's get into the tutorial for today. Okay. Now, as you can see, that this image that we try to copy. Um, it's already on a background uh, for layer, so we can't do anything about that. But don't worry, just select all by pressing Control A or Command A on a Mac. Uh, copy that, and then press uh, Control N or Command N to open up a new document. Uh, select this to be a white background instead of transparent, and uh, press OK. Okay, now we have a white background, which is going to be pasting our image. You just press Control V or Command V. Okay, now. Zoom in, okay. Um, I'm just gonna just grease this right here, okay. Now we're gonna use a tool called the polygonal, the the polygonal. <laughs> can't even pronounce it. The polygonal less lesser tool, okay. Um, and okay, so we're gonna uh, what we're gonna do is gonna trace it around the Ferrari and the place that we want to, you know, uh, to copy. As you can see, there's also a Lambo in the back, um, and um, okay, I just wanted to um, okay, we're gonna start the actual. Uh, so so okay, so zoom in. So I didn't zoom was it try too much, but it would make it be for nice and crispy. You could also yeah, zoom in a bit forward. Um, in the professional world, um, professional world. Well, in in practice, uh, people use. Um, Professionals for do tend to use a, you know something called a graphic tablet, which is like a pen, um, and they just for tracing instead of using their mouse because it's more of accurate. Uh, but the moment we're just using our mouse now. As soon as you press the the polygonal for laser tool, you your mouse will turn into that type of shape, it looks like a little bird or something. Okay, and then we're gonna just click here, and then just start tracing over the Ferrari. I know it's gonna take a bit of time. But the end result will be superb. So as you can see here, I'm just clicking on to the places where I went. As you can see, it's a straight line. So you know the line is not being curved. You just have to just um, you're just clicking on to the place where you want it to join. Um, and also, as you can see, um, you know if you wanted to move spaces that you want to get to, but you didn't have to use instead of using you know, you know the up and down um, was it scroll? What you do is, without for clicking on anything or holding on to the clicking button, just hold the space bar. Like I say, and as you can see, the mouse cursor has turned into a hand, so that gives you the ability to move around the image. So then you let the space bar go, and now you're back to tracing the image. Okay. Okay. Um, now we're nailed them. Now, as you can see, like when you get to the end, your mouse, as you can see, uh, the tool here has you know like a little bird. Um, as soon as we get to the part that we started from, you know, like we're trying to, uh, to to join them together, as you can see, there'll be like a little circle under the bird, like that. So that little circle there, so that gives you the indication where, like, like that will tell you that those two lines are joining together. So, for example, if I go past that line, see if I don't see that little circle. If, you know that if under the the build tool or whatever, see. So um, so uh, it's gonna where we are. Okay, now it's all selected. Now you could zoom out. Okay, so now we can see 
the Ferrari is selected. So what we do is just we copy. Okay, so just press Control C or Command C. So now you copied. Now delete that if image. Okay, press the square little that little square. Uh, yeah, that square, yeah, the second of uh, a tool. Um, as you can see now, um, we're freely to do you know, whatever we want. Okay, now we paste it. So Control V or Command V. Okay, now no worries if your car uh, moved away from the white space. What you do, you just get you select your your move tool, which is the first tool in the toolbar, and you gently drag it towards its position. Okay. And then, so that once you get to something like that, just use your, you know, your up and down for keys, to get the perfect, to get that perfect, okay, to get that perfect um, edge. Okay, something like that. Okay, there we are. So just leave that as it is. Now go to the background layer which is the layer that we cut the car from as you can see if we hide the top layer uh, you know if we hide if we hide the car layer so we, if we switch that off as you can see the car's gone okay so if we get that back on actually so yeah just turn off that um in the car layer off then go back to your main uh for background layer go to images so go to for image adjustment and then just click on to black and white. Okay, so that's gonna just turn that into black and white. And as you can see, you could also if I adjust, you know, the color. Um, so if we saw, you know, if I bit of red, because I remember, uh, was it that like this building had a bit of red? So if I move the um, the red by just a bit, as you can see, it's gonna be, you know, come a bit brighter. Okay, that's a bit bright. bright. Okay, so we we'll just leave it up to the about this. Press OK. Then we turn on the car layer again. As you can see, now if we zoom out, as soon as we see this image, our eyes are going to be going to, it's going to capture that red Ferrari car and not the background. So they use this type of uh, effect, you know, when they're doing um, commercials and things like that. You know, for example, if you don't want to make, um, you know, want to compare to for two products, um, they use this type of effect to show that this color or this product is more alive, it's more fire vibrant. So that's what the customer will be focusing on. Um, and as well, this also tool is also good for if you have, you know, like wedding photos or you know, photos of kids or you know, like you, you know, kids for playing around or things like that. You could find crop was like the image of the child and then like you know, like, you know everything to be in, uh, in black and white. And then you know you could also do the same thing for it as well. Um, and as I said, that yeah, it's a very you know like it's a helpful tool. Um, and uh, yeah, um, and I appreciate that if you guys gonna you know, comment or subscribe to my page, uh, also follow me on to the on to on for YouTube. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed something and you learned something from today for this tutorial. Until then, take care and peace.